With these hot temperatures that come the dangers in the water, especially in the Potomac River. In the past week and a half, two young men have died in the waters near Great Falls. Today, the body of the man who went missing over the weekend was recovered. Roz Plater is live near the scene with a warning from officials tonight. Roz. Well, the area those men were swimming in was not far from here and probably looked very safe. But fire and rescue officials hope that this will serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of the river as folks head here for the 4th of July holiday. Montgomery County Water Rescue Teams on a grim mission. A body discovered in the river near Mather Gorge. It is believed to be that of a 21-year-old who disappeared in the Potomac Saturday evening while swimming with friends. This latest incident, uh, the people from out of town, so they probably weren't familiar with the Potomac River and the dangers of it. Uh, probably walked right past the signs. There are multiple signs posted here in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese warning of the river's dangers. But even folks who live in the area often ignore those warnings. Just a week ago, 19-year-old Techway Forchick of Tacoma Park drowned while swimming with his friends. It would be flat still on top, but there's a raging current underneath. Even experienced kayakers often wear life vests and helmets, and when they see swimmers, they try to warn them. As somebody who's been on the river for 15 years, I feel an obligation to warn people of the dangers, but you can only do so much. I don't think it's so much of a let me test it. I think it's a, this doesn't look so bad. I'm just gonna go in really quick and get out. And then that's when problems happen. It is all very frustrating for the fire and rescue teams. And now with the 4th of July holiday approaching, they are trying to get the safety reminders out again. You see a wet rock, stay away from it. It's gonna be slippery, you're gonna fall in. And no swimming, it could be deadly. County police have taken over this investigation. They have just identified the body found here as that of Vincent Craps, who was a military man stationed at Fort Myers in Virginia. We are live in Potomac. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. Thank you.